Yeah, big win, especially on the road where we haven't had you know a ton of success this year. So um, against a team like that, um, that has you know a lot of uh, you know like a lot going for them. They're playing well. They're you know making the big trades. There was a lot you know surrounding them, and you know how they were just going to roll over us. But we uh, you know especially with a couple injured guys, we went in there and had an awesome start and really dominated the whole the whole game. We spotted them probably a few more power plays than we would have liked, but. Um, it's a very big confidence, you know, booster for us, especially after the tough loss we had to Buffalo. So, um, I know we've been saying it a lot this year, but like this seven-game uh, homestand, like this is our season in seven games, basically. So, um, it's up to us to to have a very successful homestand and. No better place to do it than here. In a game like that, there are a lot of the little things that worked, whether it was Radko blocking shots, Bob landed on the line, uh, Eric Stahl logging big minutes on the penalty kill. When when things like that are going throughout a game, things that might not show up in the box score, how much does the rest of the group feed off of those those situations? Yeah, a lot. And like I said, like with those guys being out, that's you know two basically twenty minute guys that are out of the lineup. So um, lots and lots of guys stepped up and just did all the right things that you need to do to win hockey games. We kept it you know low scoring those are, that was like a playoff type win for us so um you know we can do it against them they're one of the best teams in the league so we should be able to do it against anybody how impressed are you with what eric Stahl's doing at 38 years old especially with games like that uh, last night yeah I, I mean i don't even think about the age at all i would never um assume he's he's that age just by watching him play especially recently so um he's doing a lot of great things for us and and we need him and you talk about guys stepping up, uh, Lusty, one of those guys for all season, but particularly last night. Just, what do you see from him day one to now? It seems like he gets better every time he gets a new opportunity. Yeah, I, mean, I was super impressed with him out of the gates. Um, I really didn't know um, a ton about him coming into this year and just been very, very impressed with everything he does. He, um, he kind of is like barking in the sense where there's not one thing that he doesn't do out there, whether it's you know power play, PK, you know, important draws. Um, he really did it all for us yesterday and played awesome. Now, obviously, the goal is one thing, but um, it was everything else that he did that I was really impressed with and that we needed. And he was, you know, one of our best players last night and um, you know really led by example. I wanted to go back to Eric Stahl. I mean, he was a guy that hadn't played NHL hockey in like over a year before he signed. I mean, is there anything you could take away from the way he's conditioned himself to the point where he's able to jump back in and compete at a high level? Yeah, and I, I really felt that, you know, I mean, if I was in that position, it would take me a, a lot longer to get back into it than it took him. Like, he obviously put a ton of work in the summer to get ready and, and had a great camp. Um, and then, you know, for the first, I don't even remember what it was, a couple weeks of the year, like, he wasn't with us. And then when he came back, it was it was awesome. And Or when he signed with us, it was awesome. So. Um, he's really been a big driver for us recently and um, does a lot of important things that like don't come up on the stat sheet, like face-offs, PK. Um, he's, now he's chipping in a lot offensively, and we need that. That line's been awesome for us as of late, and um, they're a very big momentum line for us. And when things you know aren't going our way, they seem to go out there and, and get it back for us immediately, whether it's a big goal or just an important shift. So um, he's obviously leading that line, and um, that whole line's doing a lot of great things right now. When you see a guy working like that and doing the extra work to kind of get himself in conditions, that kind of helps push the rest of the group with him too. Yeah, I mean, especially, uh, you know, what T, you know, obviously what he's, you know, playing three hasn't practiced a lot as of late and he goes to the games and um, he's been our best player the last, uh, you know, last handful of games it seems like. So um, just a real, like, dedicated guy and you know, kind of laying everything on the line for us right now and um, just a very, you know his leadership and you know what he's doing right now. It, it, the whole group can see it. Nobody else sees it, but we see it in this room, and um, it's very important for us. And it shows how we have to compete, how we have to prepare, and you know what you have to play through to be successful. Speaking of veterans, how fun was it to have Lou out there for practice today? Oh, it was great. I mean, doesn't hasn't changed one bit. You still shoot it at him, and it's like it's just six to him. There's no rebounds. He's a Hall of Fame goalie, and um, had the privilege to play against him. Uh, a lot uh, in my career. I, I think I got one on him in my career in <laughs> Calgary, so that's a very fond memory that I have. But he uh, got one there, but I wasn't even close to scoring on him today. So um, he looked good out there. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.